This is a video with the twist. So, hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about buying your first car, tips and what I learned from my first accident. last week i'll put the video in the description box i bought my car my first car and this is like the first car in the family guys in 2018 2018 yeah 24 december 2018 that's when I, the car got here we went home uh to just celebrate the car and everybody was dancing just check out the video if you want to see that then we came we had to come back to harare on the 26th because uh, I had work and I wanted to go to work on the 27th. So I wanted to go with Mu. I, I, I came back home with Mugu. So I know I'm coming back from Chebuku to Harare. Mugu is like, let's pick up people and then we get some extra cash. This was like festive season and we're hoping, you know what, with extra cash, we can always buy Chibodoro and whatever we want to buy. And you know what? To buy handed. So we picked up some people. I stay, if you're coming from Chebuku, you don't get to talk to get to my house or to get to work with his guys so we had to actually get into town because of what because we had people in the car drove people in town then when we were coming back from town uh i don't go to peacock we were busy nyang -nyang -nyang, uh, talking and playing music i don't know how or what but i crashed into somebody's car i'll put pictures of somebody's car and then what my car looked like and that was just a like a dampening event over the whole festivities that had started on such a good note um guys um i do not even know what to do <laughs> embarrassing and then uh, we had to involve the police and stuff like that for the accident. Fortunately, the person who we bumped into then said, you know what, let's do it off the court, off the books. And then we just settled it and we fixed, I fixed his car. Long story short, I'm going to give you tips for when you want to buy your first car. One, save, save, save. Guys, uh, if you're living alone, buying a car and if you're like a, a person in training like i am you don't have a big big job buying a car is going to be such a strain on your finances i remember like in january i just did not know how i was just going to survive the first few weeks of january because the all the money that i had saved had gone to the car so you need to save and look at life post the car and just put some face some things into in place some pawn in place so that you're not desperate because as a girl if you're desperate it leads to so many other things that we don't like so just make sure you have a plan post the car payment one two zika misa hana and it's that it will be it's coming guys i was over the moon as i told you this is the first car in the family in the tribe this was the first car and i was driving it guys then i got a job presa in my car i would be feeling like yes yeah you know that sort of situation don't have just your hype people guys uh when i was driving and it was muku with me just moko and japres uh uchiri mandara shaina tione would come up Muku would be like, yes, vape moyo, vape moyo. <laughs> and then I would be spreading. And this is like in the first week that I'm driving. Because the last time I had driven was Kuzi ID. Guys, that's cheap. Zikamisahana. If you don't have just your husband, but just have somebody who calms you down. Because I, I, we had another cousin. On our way to check to be a cousin in the car, would be like, Iwe Muku, Iwe Mwad. 
But then, when we're coming back, it was just the two of us. I think that's why we got into that accident. At least for the first few months, until you're used to it. Just have somebody who just calms you down. If you can't calm yourself down. Because, guys, I could have died. That's two. Three, when you're settling on the... When you're buying your first car, don't buy an expensive thing. You know that I had an option of buying an expensive thing. Because I don't have the money. But... If you have an option of an expensive thing as your first first car, find the cheap cheapest option. I mean, the feet feeds uh, pass unless you're comfortable with losing like a Mac in a first freak accident. Because trust me, most likely you're going to get into some situation that you don't know how to handle yourself and like an accident. So you would rather do that and get used. Like now I can drive even a Fortuna or whatever because now I can now drive if you get on time. So as your first car, find a cheap option that you won't cry so much over if you lose it. Then four, if you're going to buy your first car, do not buy the bright colors. My baby is sky blue. I'll put a picture here. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't know. My baby is sky blue. And guys, when I had the accident, now my car, if you look at it correctly, like you will see that it has three colors. One at the door, like my friend was driving it and it bumped into some gate and we had to fix it. One at the bum uh that thing the front part because i crashed into someone's car and then the rest of the body because that's the original color because the color is so complicated and it's a combination of a number of colors it's very hard to uh get it fixed all right so just for your first car buy simple colors you're white you're black you i think red i don't know those simple colors don't go into this complicated tech case blue or what white blue yeah guys it becomes like a whole lot of work if you want to then you paint it in case of anything happens then the fifth thing is don't listen to people who say buy your buy your house first guys i i I, I don't know. Do you? A car is such convenience. The things that I've been able to do just because I have a car, the things that the places I've been able to go just because I have a car, I wouldn't be able to go to those places if I didn't have a car. And three thousand won't be able to buy me a house in Zimbabwe in Harare. It won't. So why why give yourself pressure like that? Everything will come in due time. If you have money for a car, buy a car. You will get money for a house later. I mean. That's just my thinking. But I hope this was helpful with those five tips that I had. If you think of anything, I will do another video. So, that did not last because I then thought of other things that I was too tired to think of when I had initially recorded the video. So, the other thing that I need you to consider is also make sure that when you're buying or when you're sending someone to go get a car for you, you are also a consulted a person that knows about cars. I kid you not, until just recently, which is like six months ago, I thought my car was a 0 0.9 liter, only to find out it's actually 1.3. Yeah, um, both I and my uncle, we had went to, we went to get it, I did not know about cars so we didn't really check that that's one and then also you need to consider other costs of running of owning the car like service service is probably i service once per quarter you also need to to look at insurance you also need to look at your uh yeah and all those other fees based in our but they're not that much so don't trace over those you always figure out i was so scared of them before i bought my car but now yeah, you know, they just come in once a quarter and then we just get it done with. But consider the availability of service kits for your car before you choose which car you want to buy. For some cars, I'm sure I have like issues with spare parts and service kits. Like are they are then minor base really available is they are for a Toyota and a Paso Kia. In but thank you for stopping by and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. 
Bye and have a lovely day. See you in the next video.